What's going on, Big Town Nation, Red Pill Nation, Black Pill Nation? This is Renegade Number One, A.K.A. the Feminist Killer. Hashtag Logitorian. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about the subject of superheroes. I, the reason I want to do that is because the Joker movie came out, and I know a lot of you guys have seen it. Me personally, I haven't seen it, but I'm gonna go ahead and say this. I just came to a uh, I had an epiphany where superheroes, they correlate to blue pill, red pill, and black pill uh, lifestyles, ideologies. And what do I mean by that? Let's start off with Superman. Superman is a representation of a blue pill simp. He will take all of the criticism, all of the hate that the people throw at him. Even though he's more powerful, he will still tolerate the nonsense. I, I was never a fan of Superman. Because Superman to me is, he deals with the bullshit. He's a beta male to me. He has a lot of power, don't get me wrong. He has the, the ability to destroy the universe if he wanted to. But I, I honestly believe he's a simp because, or he represents the blue pill man because he feels obligated to, to save humanity. You understand? And that's not, that's, he doesn't have a real understanding that no matter how hard you try, you will still fail. You can't save everybody. You will never be light. You understand? That's Superman's personality in my book. Now, if you look at somebody like, uh, you look at somebody like comedian, right? Uh, Edward Blake from the, the Watchmen. He's another example, or I'm sorry, he's a different example. He's an example of the black pillar. The comedian, he has a sadistic perception of the world. He understands that life is a joke. It's it's funny and, and I have a brother that always tells me that as a black pillar obviously you know life is pointless it's inconsequential you just you just look at the people you look at the females you look at the guys you look at politics you look at you know the so-called rat race that you're forced to you know race in and you just look at it from afar and you just laugh and I've seen the Watchmen so many times and me being black pilled and seeing the movie Watchmen and observing the comedian in his character, he's black pilled. The comedian is black pilled and it's beautiful. You know, human beings cannot be saved. That's how the comedian viewed it. But everybody in the Watchmen wants to figure out, like uh, Ozzy Mandy is and you know, uh, Dr. Manhattan, Jupiter, all the people in the Watchmen, they all had this, this sense of hope of saving humanity. But the comedian, he laughs in a sadistic manage, manage, uh, he laughs in a sadistic manner, understanding that you can't save humanity. Life is a joke. That's, that's uh, synonymous to being a black pill. You can't save the fuckery. You can't save the disaster. You just have to let it all burn. I know it sounds dark and psychotic, but it's the truth. And you know, um he's a representation of a black pill a, a black pillar. He doesn't want to save humanity. You can even throw in Rorschach. Even though I think Rorschach he he is sort of red pill to me. And then obviously you look at somebody like a Joker, which I'm pretty sure, like I said, you guys have seen the Joker movie. Joker is black pill. Joker is similar to the comedian. He he laughs he laughs at pain and suffering because he's endured so much suffering that he's immune to it. He he knows he's not trying to save the world. He laughs at it from afar. He's a nihilistic individual. He understands that reality is a joke. That there's no point in even trying to even make it better. And so, 
looking at it from that far, looking at it from that perspective, you do notice that black pilled individuals, they're always the villains in the movies. Black pilled individuals. We always want to um, stigmatize the blue pillar as the hero. Joker is not a bad person. He's a black pilled individual. He sees life for what it is. He's a joke. He uh, he is what his name implies. He's a joker. He plays around with life because in this world that we live in, in this world that we live in, being serious doesn't do you any justice anyway. Whether this is the thing I want you guys to realize with these analogies and these examples, whatever you want to, you know, uh, label it as. Whether you take life serious, whether you're on your P's and your Q's, whether you're joking not taking life serious and looking at things as you know comedic life is still gonna be the same whether you try hard or you don't try hard now I know some of you will disagree with what I said you give I'll say this you give full maximum effort you're gonna be evolved uh, you're gonna be rewarded with more hard work like I said in my last video you're gonna be rewarded with more suffering you understand you can never buy everyone's respect that's why I like the Joker because he has a sense of understanding the world as it is. You understand? So they want to paint him as a villain because he he's an emotionalist being. And that's how the black pill that's how the black pilled man is as well. The black pilled man is emotionalist. You don't get upset about the things you used to get upset by. You you understand that you can't you can't go after women no more. You understand that you can't get mad at the government for trying to brainwash you. You can't get upset for your parents trying to brainwash you. You understand how things are. You just laugh at them because you're smarter than that. Now that, now that you have stepped and removed yourself from that haze of that haze of confusion you just laugh and admire the bullshit you are the joker you are the comedian the real the reality of it is it's not you that the joke is on it's the joke is on the blue pillars the joke is on the superman the joke is on the spider-man because these are the type of people that will waste their lives trying to impress people trying to save people and guess what they will still never be respected. They are weak. The Joker, the villains, they all, the so called villains, they always win because they see things for what they are. You understand? And so, just dissecting things from afar, I understand now. I understand that no matter how much pain I endure, no matter how many times I am confronted with all kind of blue pill ideas, I know I can see through it. You understand? I can't be phased by it. And it's not to say that um, having good intentions is bad. It's just at this point, it's your efforts are futile. You can't change humanity. You understand? The thing is, we can come up and paint as many ideas as possible on how to make this world a better place. This world depends on the majority. And the majority of people that live in this society, or I'm sorry, the majority of men that live in this society are clueless, blue-pilled individuals. Period. How can we save a world when there's no self-awareness? There's no awareness in general. You can't you can't work with people like that. You're pretty much you're pretty much on your own. You're looked at as a psychopath, a crazy individual. We as the Black Pill Nation are the we're perceived as the Joker. We're perceived as the psychopath. We are perceived as the mentally ill. And when it comes to that, now they're saying men who want to be single are looked at as having a disorder. 
and me shout out me and one of my brothers that we did some research and we just looked at something temporarily we, we talked about it for a little bit having a disorder by the definition is being in a state of confusion that's what they think we that's how the blue pill world looks at us they can't ponder the thought of not wanting a woman as a companion they can't ponder the thought of being on a lonesome path so therefore we are confused there's something wrong with us no the fact of the matter is we see the joke in front of us life is a fucking joke I'll give you reasons why life is a fucking joke men can't see their kids they have to pay child support women want equality but at the same time they want men to pander to them they want to emasculate us they want to um, neutralize the gender identities that in itself is a fucking joke I laugh every time I hear this bullshit I laugh at the fact of uh, at the at the thought of you know this country becoming communist I laugh at the idea of you know the world becoming this socialist utopia I laugh at that that stuff is hilarious you should laugh at that as well because when you go your own way they're not gonna be laughing at us being mentally ill we're gonna be laughing at them destroying each other they're not gonna destroy us period because we already woken up the only people who are gonna be fucked when the house is on fire are the people who are still laying in the beds sleep which is the blue pillars the blue pillars are the sleeper the, the ones that are sleeping in the bed the red pillars and the black pillars we are the ones that left the house when it caught on fire you can remain asleep in the house while the house is still on fire and when the motherfucker collapses on you don't cry for help period I don't care about how you feel forget about your feelings emotions emotions can serve as a stronghold if you allow it to you understand there is no turning back we are gonna find out in the end 10 years from now 20 years from now how far things progress or how far things regress we're gonna see who has the last laugh in the end so remember that but this is Renegade number one. Like the video, share, subscribe. Peace.